Hey, man. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession, and now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card, highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! Hey, old dude, we're back! Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine. I think. Special delivery, just for you. Oh, my inspiration! You've returned to me at long last! Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is, and it was hard won! I sewed dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A Honeybee in VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming! <sighs> well... Thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Tell me. What'd you see in our little enclave of sand and debauchery? Bet it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring! Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot! But look out, folks! Cause these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne! I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks! Fighters, begin! Nice going, champ. You were in fine form today. Here's your cut. You earned it. Not here for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Ah, uh, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape. And boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well? You helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business hidden my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long, and she might just blow up in your face. Cloud! Finally! 
Tifa! She... I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud. Bro, for me... Call me crazy, but, uh... I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. <sighs> Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! You again? Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea, and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it 
might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! I guess. <laughs> Take it away, honey. <laughs> Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you Will you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage? Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's blushing. Sweet here at the honey bee in every moment is a tree. Brave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead.
you tried. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid to try. That show today blew my mind! Hey, look at me! I can dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. How about it was you amazing. Drink? You talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? I've seen hands down. Yeah. Oh, loud. Now that was a show. Cloud. Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello. Aerith to Cloud, come in. Please don't. Behold such flowers from afar. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! Greens! Uh, uh, <clears throat> Forgive me, miss, but the way you're staring at me is rather... Who is oh, she? I know everything about I'm her! I'm experiencing an emotional response. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh, Come on. <coughs> Damn it. Cloud. Hey, pretty ladies, too. Feeling a little lightheaded? Got a cane on that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor, so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now, I'm not too lazy. Hey, I'm having a pet. I'll throw it in You want to throw down the Corneo girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a horn. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 
Can you hear me? <sighs> Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Good. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> okay, my beautiful ladies. Time to line up for the dawn. Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Da Corneo. Ladies. Uh. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Days? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. 
back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> 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 oh, you stupid! Wait. Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy bastard. I am! <laughs> yes! Yes, I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, you're close! <laughs> oh? Oh? So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk! Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> It was the Director of Public Security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. <laughs> 
It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... In the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Tifa? to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it? Sure there isn't something else going on? Um. It goes. Do you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. 
<laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Mm. Hmm? Uh, Tifa! What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. I know this place. Sector 7 should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends? And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure. All right, now we should be able to get across. I'll go first, okay? Damn it. I can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Focus. Still thinking about the plate? Future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna. I'm gonna. go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar, decorations, coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Sorry about that. No need to be. Uh. 
Seventh Heaven's water tank has something similar. I'm betting we can use this to control the sewage level. Hey, Cloud. You want to give it a try? This ought to drain the water. Right? No luck? Must be busted. A red light indicates a blockage, apparently. We can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. All right. I'll... Aerith, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. We'll be back soon. Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team! <laughs> Looks like they're hungry for more. We're not delicious. Not even a little bit. Get going. No. Okay. <laughs> you too. But there's too many of them. Not for me. Back off, or die! Proceed as planned. <sighs> this is bullshit. What the hell are they thinking? Threats to public order are to be summarily put down. This is what we've always done. Summarily put down. <laughs> Guess it's a little late to grow a conscience. Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. Hm. It's deserted, and kind of creepy. People don't come around here often. And not just because of the monsters, but because of the stories. What kind? Everyone seems to think that the train graveyard is haunted. Those who lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. <gasps> Is that right? I mean, it's not like I think it's true or anything. But, you know, it's just... Then let's hurry. Okay. Uh, all good, I think. <sighs> Still in one piece here, too. Guys? <gasps> Seriously? Come on, huh? Well, that's inviting. What do you think? Uh. Hmm. I'm 
game. Huh? Uh, but it'll be fine. We've got a bodyguard, don't forget. Mine. <sighs> right? Ghosts aren't my thing. <sighs> You're just being modest. After you. Mind letting me go then? <laughs> <sighs> Mm-hmm. <sighs>